Uh, we're still trying to determine the cause of the fire, but it was a fire in a single family residence. There were uh, five occupants. They all escaped safely, uh, two out of the uh, basement and three out of the uh, first floor. How did you guys find out about this? Uh, our dispatchers were notified. I'm not sure how the 911 center or who called the 911 Also, center. I see there were paramedics next door. Was, was there uh, someone with smoke next door as well? The, uh, the male occupant of the house uh, suffered some minor injuries uh, getting the uh, two occupants off the first floor. Is this all, may, all adults here or are there some children? Uh, I'm not sure on that. Okay. Any particular challenges in fighting this one? It looks like you got it knocked down pretty quick. Yeah, the fire was just kind of deep-seated in the walls and the attic space, so uh, it just takes a little bit extra work, uh, a lot of hands-on overhaul type work. Where did they start? What was that? Which room did it start at? I'm not sure where it started. And what's the timeline? When did you get the phone? Uh, it was about, uh, I want to say about 6.45, something like that. Can you tell me about the size of the response? How many crews got here? How many guys fighting this thing? Uh, I believe we had uh, four engines, two trucks, um, uh, three, uh, let's see, we had two battalion chiefs, myself, and a safety chief, and the medics. And what's the status right now of the fire? Uh, the fire is pretty well knocked down. Uh, there's some hot spots we're going to have to dig out, and we're waiting for our fire investigation unit to get here and do their investigation before we do any more overhaul. Any reason to think it's suspicious? No, not at this point.